world of AI is advancing at an unprecedented pace. We are seeing new LMs outpace each other more frequently on shorter timeframes in the open source and closed source fields. And with that, we're seeing higher and higher requirements needed to reach the bar for compute. And this is basically to operate the large language models locally. For example, just to run a small Phi 2 model, which is a 3 billion parameter model locally, would basically require you to have 12 gigabytes of 24 GB of VRAM. And this is with GPUs like the RTX 4080 and the 4090 GPUs. But guess what? I have a solution for this, and this is where I would like to introduce Fast AI, a global GPU market. This is your premier GPU cloud platform that's tailored for developers, researchers, as well as businesses. You can rent GPUs to run large language models that are insanely large on the cloud with Vast AI, and this is for super cheap prices. For example, if you wanted to run the Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter model, on a memory that is in 4-bit mode would basically require you to have four NVIDIA A100 or H180 gigabyte GPUs in a 4-bit mode. This basically is ranging for approximately 10K to 12K for just one single A100 GPU. Now you gotta basically times that by four to run that model locally. Just imagine. But say if you were to rent a cloud GPU with vast AI, you can run it for very cheap where it's charged a couple of cents per hour. There are many other competitors like Lambda Labs, you have Fluidstack, as well as Coreweaves, and they all have very expensive hour rates in comparison to Vast AI's rates for many of these state-of-the-art GPUs. Now, in today's video, we'll unveil Vast AI's cutting-edge features, including a Python-based command line interface and a pre-configured template that is uniquely positioning Vast AI to meet the diverse needs of different people in the community. It's a great solution that will provide an efficient, scalable, and affordable solution to supercharge your computational projects. So with that thought, let's get started and showcase how you can utilize Vast AI to run different models locally, as well as utilize the GPU rental service for many different use cases. To get started, you must choose between two distinct pricing models. You have on-demand pricing and interruptible pricing. Starting off with on-demand, this is where there is stable prices. These prices are fixed and they don't change based on availability or other factors. In terms of its availability, resources are guaranteed and available whenever you need them. And these costs are basically predictable, meaning that it makes the budgeting process easier. And this is where this pricing structure is more ideal for applications with constant or critical resources that are needed when there is uptime and when you need the uptime to be basically prioritized. But something new is that they now support virtual machines and they've basically introduced this support, which is going to be offering unparalleled flexibility and control over your machine learning and GPU workflows. Now, unlike Docker containers, these VMs are going to let you customize at an OS level, where you can install dependencies and even gain root access for full environmental control, all while maintaining vast industry-leading pricing. To choose your virtual machine, go over to the main console, click on Change Template, and you're going to be able to search through different tags that will state that if it is a virtual machine. In this case, you can see that this is Ubuntu, virtual machine that you can easily get started with and in this case you can go ahead and select this and you can go and start utilizing this virtual machine the other distinct package is the interruptible package or pricing structure this is where it's generally lower on the pricing structure in comparison to on demand and it offers more cost effective options in terms of its availability resources are less predictable and it may be reclaimed by providers with little notice meaning that the prices could change and it's not as fixed as on demand. The flexibility of these different GPUs are quite suitable for flexible or non-critical tasks where this risk of interruption is acceptable. And in terms of use cases, this is great for batch processing, development, or tasks that can tolerate interruptions or delays. Now, in summary, on-demand pricing is going to provide a reliable and stable higher, like I would say, structure in terms of usability at a higher cost whereas interruption pricing is something that offers lower rates 
but with trade-offs of potential interruptions as well as less predictable availability. Once you've decided your distinct pricing model, what you can do is click on the sign in button and you're going to start off by creating an account. You can create one with your Gmail or with your Google or with just a regular email. Once your account is created and once you have picked a pricing structure, you can choose the GPO of your choice or you can simply just click on the rent button and decide what sort of GPU you would want to utilize. But say if you do not know, and say if you want to utilize it for a template such as PyTorch or many of these other options over here, you can simply just click on it by clicking on the select button and it will give you all the best PyTorch templates that are necessary to basically have it functional. And in this case, you can just simply click on rent. Once you have done that, you can add your payment provider and you can then purchase and rent that GPU. Once the payment provider information has been inputted, you can then head over to the instance and this is where it's going to start creating your instance. In this case, I have rented one RTX A4000 GPU and once it finishes starting up the instance, we can then try loading it up. And then once it's ready, you can simply just open this up and you can then have your Jupyter notes opened up in this case. This is fully hosted and similarly, you can have it so that you can host different LMs with different GPUs. And there's actually a lot of tutorials and guides where VAS provides this and it'll basically showcase how you can run the largest of the largest models on VAS AI by simply just clicking rent and you can easily deploy those models on the cloud so that you can utilize it for enterprise or for your sole purpose. For example, you can just simply deploy this hugging face text generation inference, which lets you run any open source model that is possibly of any size on the cloud with vast AI. Just simply head over to the templates, just simply go over to the template that says hugging face llama three DGI API, select this, and you can deploy this instance on the cloud with vast AI so that you can start chatting with whatever hugging face uh, models that you would want. The great thing about Vast is that they have a really cool and unique interface that will easily let you highlight the detailed filters that are necessary to run your GPUs or rent your GPUs. For example, you can easily select the pricing structure, GPUs you would want from NVIDIA all the way to in, uh, AMD, and it is basically going to specify further in detail for the different GPUs you would want. You can also have it so that you can select different regions and the pricing structure as well as how much video RAM you would want. And in this case, it's going to easily highlight the different details that are necessary for you to search for the GPUs you would want as well as the different system metrics. You can even search by GPU models and then see the server configurations for each system, including the CPU name, the amount, system RAM, the disk speed, as well as the PCIe express speed and lanes and so much more. A side note, definitely reference their YouTube channel as well as their documentation because they showcase a lot of cool tutorials that are quite easy to follow through and showcase how you can get started with VastAI. Now, another amazing feature of VastAI's platform is its Python-based CLI. It's a feature that offers a command line interface built with Python and it's designed to empower you to use different scripts and automate the process of searching, provisioning, as well as releasing GPU servers at scale. Now, this clay is especially useful for developers managing large scale deployments or those who wish to seamlessly integrate these different GPUs with different existing development pipelines. Now, with this tool, you can actually manage multiple GPU resources quite efficiently. And this way, you're gonna be able to streamline the workflows and boost productivity all without leaving the deployment environment. To get started, simply head over to the documentation tab which says CLI, click on it, it'll take you to this page and what you want to do is simply copy this first command over here. Once you have copied it, you can install it with the pip install command. If you do not have pip, just simply search up how to install pip, it'll showcase how to do it. Now what you want to do is simply open up command prompt, once that is done, just Simply paste in that command pip install upgrade uh, vast AI and it's going to start installing all the necessary dependencies to have vast installed on your computer. Next, you need to set your API key. To do so, what you want to do is head over to your main console and click on account. This is where you can then copy your API key 
and this is where you can log in with vast onto your computer so what you want to do is set your api key so copy this first bit which is vast ai set api key what you want to do is then paste it in and then copy your code over here your api key and then paste it back in after you put a space after the key and then paste it in and now your api key will be saved and you can then proceed forward with the next step now that you have set your api key you can actually get started with vast first things first you want to take a look at all the commands so you want to copy this command head back into your command prompt and paste it in this will give you all the commands that are necessary to basically start and run vast so within your client, you're going to be able to create instances. And this is with all of these different commands right over here. And you can do this locally on your computer. Now, say you want to search a certain type of offer, which is used mostly to basically search for available GPUs. What you can do is just use the search command, which you can find over here. Fast AI search offer space dash dash help. And here you're going to be given different examples to search for different reliable single GPUs, different minimal compute requirements, as well as the location. For example, if I was to search different offers that are available, it will showcase all the different GPUs that are available at this current moment that I can utilize. And if I want to basically go further and search offers with a compute cap or with different reliability in different categories, you can do so by specifying with the search offer help command, which will showcase all the filters and you can specify the filters that you're searching for within your client. And then you can obviously get started by launching your instance. To create this, you just simply copy the instance of your type and then use the ID from the search that you would see with PyTorch or an image. And this way you're gonna be able to showcase and write your disk storage. And then you can connect with your SSH and you can get started with it locally just by utilizing the command prompt or your client that is fully created with, by Vast. Now there's so much more to this and I definitely see this being the best global GPU market that's out there. Now I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below, but in conclusion with Vast AI, you gain more than access to high performance GPUs as you get to leverage a platform that is meticulously designed to enhance your efficiency and expand your capability. It's really cheap, affordable, and their Python-based CLI with Docker support and pre-configured templates are just a few examples as to how you can cater the diverse needs of your users or of your personal use case. Now, this is a great option for a reliable, scalable, and cost-effective solution to meet all your computational demands. So definitely get started with Vast. I'll leave all the links that I use in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news and subscriptions. Follow me on Twitter as well as subscribing, turning on the notification bell. And please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.